what's up you guys how you been how are you doing during the festive season i love 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 romantic comedies especially during the holiday time and i recently saw love heart on netflix and it became my new favorite christmas movie so basically i follow all the cast on instagram and i saw the cast do like a personality quiz on buzzfeed which is basically which iconic holiday movie couple best matches your personality so it's like a christmas personality test and i found it to be really interesting so i want to find out mine so let's go through the test together and find out which holiday couple fits my personality <laughs> first question first things first what is your love language so the options are words of information quality time physical touch acts of service, gifts, or something only you and your partner share. Um, as for me, quality time is definitely my love language. Okay, next question. Pick a controversial holiday movie. Die Hard, Mean Girls, Harry Potter, Carol, Frozen, or Edward Scissorhands. Ooh, there are a lot of good ones. Mean Girls is definitely not a Christmas movie. Harry Potter? Is that even a question? How is this controversial? I think it is well-known fact that Harry Potter is a Christmas movie. So that is what I would go for, but they also have Edward Scissorhands and I think it's such a good Christmas movie. Also known as a Christmas movie. Anyway, I'm gonna go for Harry Potter, obviously, always. <sighs> Which holiday themed beverage are you sipping on by the open fire? I'm gonna go with mulled wine every, every time. I absolutely love just this hot, liquid happiness <laughs> anyway i absolutely love it it's actually my favorite thing around the holidays like sipping that and like playing board games with my family like that's the best okay next choose a holiday tune to sing during karaoke baby is called that side <laughs> natalie and joss remix i loved it all i want for christmas merry christmas happy holidays last christmas let it snow or it's beginning to look a lot like christmas definitely last christmas because I have a really, really warm memory of my university friends. In Latvia, usually around Christmas time, all the grades are already known. So there's no much point in having like very well-structured lessons. So I remembered one time we were supposed to have, I think, British history of literature lesson. Yeah. And instead we asked the teacher if we can just sing. So all of my university friends sang Last Christmas poem. And this is one of my favorite Christmas like memories. Every time I hear this song, like, I feel this, like, warmth. It was so nice. If I find the clip, I will show it to you because I filmed it. It was so nice. So, definitely last Christmas. Pick a fun date night activity. Candle making class, mini golf, paint and sip. What is paint and sip? Paint and sip. I have no idea what that is. Uh, so basically, just drink wine and paint. That sounds like so much fun. Okay. Paint and sip, an intimate dinner, a concert, a nice long walk. Fun date night activity. I have to go with paint and sip. You get wine and a painting. That sounds like so much fun. I also love candle making and mini golf. That would be a lot of fun too. I've never gone mini golfing, but I think that would be so much fun. But anyway, I'm gonna stay with paint and sip because painting and drinking wine sounds like a perfect evening. Quick, your SO is in the bathroom and you have time to check one app. Which is it? So while Smithy went to the bathroom, I can check one app. Which would it be? I mean, not on his phone, right? I'm not checking his phone, it's not like a stuff or anything, right? Instagram? Yeah, I would probably just see what other people are up to. I like checking out my friends' stories and what they're up to. So yeah, I would say I would just check Instagram stories if someone would be in the bathroom and I would have like a few minutes to spare. Okay. Last but not least, choose a quote from an iconic holiday movie. To me, you are perfect. Nah. You have such a pretty face, you should be on Christmas card. Nah. It's Christmas Eve and we are going to celebrate being young and being alive. Not bad. Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it exists, Santa Claus. Remember, George, no man is a failure who has friends. Or you behave <laughs> Motherfucker. No, that's not a Christmas quote. Which of these do I like? Let's say... It's a Christmas Eve, we're going to celebrate being young and being alive because that's the most positive one. I think on Christmas you just have to be happy and not think about... You know, it can be really depressive for a lot of people, like the holiday time, and especially if you don't have like close friends or loved one or like good relationship with your family. So I think this is the most positive. Like, it doesn't matter what the situation is. It's holidays, try to enjoy it and just... If nothing else, just celebrate being young, being alive, being... Even if you're not young, just celebrate being alive and being, you know in your body because that is special so let's go with that 
And I am... Yay! Which iconic holiday movie couple best matches are personally? Natalie and Josh from Love Hard. You got Natalie and Josh. To you, the true meaning of love isn't someone with the perfect dating profile, but it's that special someone who makes you feel perfect despite your imperfections. That's sweet. That's cute. That's cute. Let's do one more test, okay? These are fun. Which Christmas character are you? So let's try to do this one. So first question, choose a Christmas sweater. <laughs> I love ugly Christmas sweaters. Do you guys like ugly Christmas sweaters? Because I'm obsessed, but I've never had one. Like, I've always wanted to buy one, and somehow I never do, because I don't actually want to buy one. I want to get one as a present, but no one ever does give it to me as a present. So I'm gonna go with ugly Christmas sweater number one. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Hmm, giving gifts or Christmas movies or snow. I love snow. Yeah, because I mean, it's not Christmas without snow. Even if you get gifts, if it's not white outside, it doesn't really feel like Christmas. So I'm gonna go with snow. I love snow. Okay, choose a Christmas movie. I'm gonna go with Home Alone. I don't think any other of these movies make me feel so Christmassy as Home Alone. I'm European. We have Home Alone on TV every Christmas, so I'm gonna go with that. What do you prefer to spend the holidays with? Um, extended family. I like the family to be together on holidays. Choose a stocking stuffer. Candles, bath bombs, books, mugs, picture frames, socks. Oh, books or socks would be my go-to. I'm gonna go with books because I love books and free books even better. Books as gifts are the best gifts. Which Christmas character are you? I'm a reindeer. Funny because I wanted to wear this for today's video, but it wouldn't like fit the frame, so I didn't. <laughs> Apparently I'm a reindeer. You're the definition of a team player. You are stronger when you have your friends beside you and you constantly lift each other up. Yes, I love people who lift each other up. You're super easy to get along with, although you can be judgmental. This is spot on. <laughs> you like to have fun and relax, but at the end of the day, you get the job done, so there is no harm in making it enjoyable. This is like spot on. This got deep really fast. I wasn't expecting the answer to be deep, but this is like spot on. Okay, so I'm right there. <laughs> Let's do one more. Who would you like to see coming down the chimney? Um, I mean, I'm an adult, so realistically, I'm gonna go with no one. What do you look forward the most on Christmas Day? Going to bed glad it's over. No, watching their faces light up. Yes, opening the presents, opening the sherry, <laughs> watching their faces light up. Just making people happy. How much do you spend on gifts for loved ones? Nothing's too much, I'd give my right arm. Yeah, as little as possible. I'm re-gifting, it's my way of saving the planet. <laughs> that would be good, but I don't do that. I like to give, but I love getting presents more. Um, first one, nothing's too much. I don't know, for Christmas, it's Christmas, like, I don't care. Money is just paper. I'm much more happier when I pick up gifts for others and I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna love this. I love this feeling, so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, where will you be on Christmas Day? Near the fridge, home alone, surrounded by family, surrounded by presents. I'm gonna be with my family <laughs> because finally I can visit. Corona is up again, it's peak, but still I managed to book flights and fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong and I can actually go. What would you bring round at Christmas? Phone charger, a hangover, emergency chairs, the Christmas pudding. Probably I would say the last one, not pudding because that's not, not my culture, but I would probably bring some Christmas snacks. Oh my, you are the festive chef. <laughs> Aww, you're always to be found in the midst of a culinary flurry. That is true. I, I like to think of myself as like the Christmas spirit because I'm the youngest in my family so I don't know I always just enjoyed it and tried to keep this you know Christmas spirit for as long as possible like baking Christmas cookies and just trying to make everyone come together and just enjoy it. Yeah, so I like this. This was nice. This was lovely. This one, my heart. Now I want some mood wine and just I can't wait to go to Latvia next week. So thank you guys for coming with me on this adventure in my personality. <laughs> if you do any of these quizzes, I'm gonna link them below. If you do any of them, please leave in the comments what you got. Thank you guys for always supporting me. If you enjoyed today's video, please watch my previous videos. Subscribe, comment, like, and share this with a friend. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Hold up, I